I hope you're ready for a delicious and comforting instant pot soup because that is what I'm bringing to you guys today. My name is Vanessa if you are new and today I'm going to share an instant pot recipe this one is going to be a chicken pot pie soup I made a whole chicken in my crock pot a couple weeks ago we had plenty of leftovers so I put it in the freezer and then I was like you know what the weather's been a little rainy lately and I really want to make a super comforting soup and share it with y'all so I already prepped a bunch of stuff because whenever I am filming dinner recipes, I have to make them quick and easy with a house full of kids. So I already got all the prepping done, but let me go ahead and show you guys the ingredients and how easy it is to whip this up in your Instant Pot. Okay, so here is everything that I'm going to be using. Here's my chicken that I pulled out of the freezer. I was thinking about cutting this up into like chunky, chunkier pieces or little bite-sized pieces, but I think I'm just gonna toss it in like that and we can just take bites off of the longer pieces. The produce that I need, I chopped up a whole onion, um, either three full carrots, I only had the baby carrots, so this is about 12 baby carrots that I diced up and then three stalks of celery. Also, I have five teaspoons of minced garlic that we're going to be using and some seasonings. This is fresh thyme, a heaping tablespoon. I really don't measure the seasonings that much. I kind of just look and see what looks good. And that is a little over a teaspoon of dried sage. When I was using my scoop, it would definitely spilt out a little bit. So it's more than a teaspoon in here. And then right here I have about a pound of baby red potatoes that I just diced up. I washed them, I scrubbed them, but I did leave the peel on. Then I'm gonna be using one cup of milk, but this is actually going in at the very end. I am not adding this in. It's not gonna be cooked or anything like that. My main liquid for the Instant Pot is a can of chicken broth. So this is 14.5 ounces. And then I am going to need a little bit of avocado oil or whatever kind of oil you want to use for the saute function because we are going to be sauteing our veggies and then salt and pepper to taste for some extra seasoning. So that is everything that I've got laid out. Let's start preparing our Instant Pot chicken pot pie soup. All right, you guys, so like I mentioned, we are going to be using the saute function first. So I'm going to hit that. And then I'm gonna be able to put a good amount just because I am trying to saute quite a lot of veggies. So that's about two tablespoons. And now I'm just going to wait for the oil to start popping. That'll let me know that the inner pot is nice and hot. You hear that? So I don't wanna wait until it's like completely splattering everywhere but I can hear <laughs> the oil starting to try to pop. So I'm going to add all three of these in, the onions, the celery, and the carrots. Now you can hear that sizzle. I am going to cook this until the onions are nice and soft. So it's gonna take several minutes. Okay, onions are getting pretty soft. Look at all that steam. And now I'm going to add my garlic. And I'm just gonna saute it for about another minute. Okay, I am done with the sauteing. So before you can do anything else with your Instant Pot, you need to turn that function off. You can't just go function to function. You have to go to the off button first or cancel actually, it says cancel on mine before you can go anywhere else. So now I can move on. I'm going to add my potatoes, my can of chicken broth. Oh, now it's not so loud. <laughs> I'm also going to add my seasoning. So I've got the dried sage and the fresh thyme. And I'm going to stir this up before adding in my chicken. All right, so this is what I like to do when I'm trying out soups. I know that some of this liquid is going to evaporate. 
the potatoes are going to need it to get nice and soft. So I want this to be more soupy, even though pot pies are more creamy, I do want this to be a little bit more soupy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another can and before I get my chicken in here. Okay, so the second can of chicken broth going in. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a lot better for the consistency I want. Okay, now as far as the amount of chicken, so I had prepped this previously. I cooked a whole chicken in my crock pot a couple weeks ago, so I have a mix of white and a dark meat. I would say maybe two chicken breasts um, would be good. Now I do have a family of six, so that just depends on how big your family is, if you want leftovers, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in here. But for your purposes, if you're brand new making this recipe and you don't have any chicken on hand, I would go ahead and add two chicken breasts that you have cooked and they are cut up into bite-sized chunks. Okay guys, so here is what mine is looking like. I think that is enough chicken to like potato a veggie <laughs> ratio looks really good it smells delicious so this chicken when i cooked it in my crock pot i had a i used a full bottle of the olive garden uh dressing i picked that up from costco so this is definitely going to have a lot of flavor i am super excited but that is it as far as what we are putting in the instant pot before we start cooking it all right so time to cook we're going to close the lid make sure it is sealing not venting it will not come to pressure it will not cook it needs to be on sealing and then since i already sauteed the vegetables the chicken is already cooked this is a pretty quick meal so i'm going to press manual but that just means it all depends on what kind of instant pot you have all the models are completely different i have a six quart duo and mine has a manual button and what that means it's just automatically putting it on high pressure so if you don't have a manual you're going to press your pressure button or whatever button that you have and get it onto high pressure and we are going to go up to 10 minutes and that is it. So I have quite a bit of liquid in here. I'm guessing it's gonna take about 15 minutes to come to pressure. So it's about to stay on. There we go. And then now it is coming to pressure. So it's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes and then my 10 minute countdown will begin. So this is gonna be like a 25 minute dinner cook time after I got everything in here. Okay guys, time is up and you might hear the dishwasher going because I was able to unload and, and load the dishwasher and start it while I was waiting for this, so that's awesome. All right, so I am going to do a quick release. This little silver button going up means that the pot is pressurized and you are not able to open the lid until all the pressure is out. So with soups though, sometimes if you do a quick release, it does splatter. So I wanted to show you guys Sometimes I wanna do a quick release, other times I will just let it release naturally until I am ready to eat. But I wanted to show you that if you are wanting a quick release and you want it done, just press it to venting. Okay, so the pressure is almost gone. You can tell when it starts to get more quiet. It is very loud in the beginning, but now it's almost done. That little silver button or little, it's actually like a little, uh, I don't even know what it's called, spike or something as that will drop in just a second, but, okay, so I don't know why it keeps not wanting to focus, but there it goes. So no more pressure, it is safe to open the lid, but I was gonna show you that when you are doing a quick release on soups, sometimes the liquid will start spewing out on the top here. And if you still wanna do a quick release, but you don't wanna make a huge mess, which I don't recommend making a huge mess, put it back to sealing, wait a second, put it back to venting, let it release until it spews again, go like that. I've done that before too, if you really want it to be more quick, because doing a natural release sometimes takes up to 20 minutes. So instant pot, not so instant. I've A few people have been complaining lately, but it's still, it's more of a instant as where you don't have to stand here. So if I was making this on the stove, I would have to keep my eye on it. I would have to make sure it doesn't boil over, all that kind of stuff with the instant pot. I feel safe setting it and walking away and doing something else. So just wanted to point that out that sometimes the quick release, natural release, you can mess around a little bit and make it more quick. But for the most part, that took about four minutes and it smells delicious, but now it is ready to open. 
Yum. All right, I don't know where my non-slotted spoon is, so I'm going to use this one for now. Yeah, that is the perfect amount of liquid. I, I'm so glad I added that second can. I definitely wanted it more soup-like. So there we go. And now, to make it more creamy, we're going to add our milk. And our pepper, and this is to taste, so however much you want. And then salt as well, same thing, just however much salt you wanna put in there. All right, I'm gonna stir it up, and then I'm just gonna let it sit for maybe five minutes, just because I did start this a little bit ahead of time, so I had plenty of time. So I'm gonna let this sit and make sure that milk gets nice and warmed up within the soup. All right, and there you have it. I went ahead and made my bowl so you guys could see the finished product. I did chop up some fresh parsley and added that on top. I probably will not do that to the kids. <laughs> it's really just for mine and my husband's. But this is definitely a lighter take on a chicken pot pie. I did cook some crescent rolls in the air fryer as well. I've actually already shared that in a video, so I'll have that linked in the description box if you guys love appliances. I not only love my Instant Pot, but I am definitely learning to love the air fryer as well. So that is gonna go on the side, but just having the soup alone, I feel like it's just a lighter, healthier version of a chicken pot pie, and you still get all that flavor. You could totally sprinkle some cheese on top of this as well. We're just opting not to do that tonight, but I already gave it a taste. It tastes delicious, and I cannot wait for everybody to dig in. All right, you guys, so I need to call the kids down, get their bowls doled out so they can cool a little bit, and we will sit down and eat as a family. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, watching me share this Instant Pot Chicken Pot Pie soup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you love the Instant Pot and getting new recipes or meal prep inspiration using different kitchen appliances, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I share a lot of mom life content on here, not just cooking, but I share some of my shopping hauls cleaning, decorating, all that good stuff. Just bringing you guys along with my mom of four stay at home life. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it if you feel like somebody would get some motivation or looking for instant pot recipes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.